Hi friends, welcome to Ahil Watch channel. This is Uma. In this video, we are going to see a very very simple stitch called blossom stitch. Okay, this is a simple stitch. We are going to use only half uh, double crochet and uh, single crochet. But uh, the texture and the look and feel the uh, uh, stitch gives, you can make n number of projects. I mean, you can make dishcloths because the stitches are too... Um, close to each other or you can make scarves or you can make uh, shawls anything you can make even blankets with this stitch okay so this is a simple stitch you can do um, and once you learn the pattern you can make as many projects as you want okay so now I'm going to I'm going to show you the normal uh, uh, standard uh, um, size which it may be used for uh, disclose the standard square size or you can use for the same stitches you can use for scarf also okay so for that what I'm going to do is um, I am going to make 30 stitch as a standard uh, um, size you can if uh, the the formula is multiples of 4 plus 2 okay so that's the number of um, that's the formula so I am going to make 30 use 30 stitch you can either if you want a smaller one you can use 24 plus 2 or 20 um, 20 plus 2 or if you want a bigger one you can do as many stitches you want but the formula should be 30 sorry uh, multiples of 4 plus 2 okay so I am using 4 ply yarn with 5 mm hook okay so Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Okay. We have 30 chains. If, if I want to have 30 stitch, I have to have 31 chains because I will be doing the single crochet in the first stitch. Okay. So, uh, just a minute. It's too good. Okay. I hope you can see the stitches now. Okay. So, 31 chain in order to have 30 stitches. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. Okay. Now, skip the first chain. Um, you, we, you know, we always do the first foundation row in the back bump of the chain. Not either in the front or back loop. So that we will be having a perfect finishing. So... Use the bump of the chain to do single crochet all through the chain. Okay. So we'll have 30 stitches. Okay. We will be doing two, two rows again and again. That is the pattern. And uh, you can repeat those two rows how many times you want according to the project you are making. Okay. See, I am doing the single crochet in the back bump. So, you can see the bottom of the stitch. However, we see the um, V stitch, the same finishing we are having on the other side of the stitch also, other side of the chain also. So, that is why it is important to have the foundation row in the bump of the chain not on the front or back loops okay 
so since I have using um, I, I, I have done 30 stitch 30 um, chains you can see the size I'm getting it will be um, around uh, seven and a half to eight and a half inches according to the gauge you are using according to the crochet you are using if your stitches are too tight it will be less if your stitches are a little bit looser the size will be big okay but uh, make this scarf make the make the project make the stitches as tight as possible okay you see a normal standard dishcloth or scarf size I'm doing okay now what I'm going to do is chain one turn your work do a single crochet in the first stitch okay do a single crochet in the first stitch then skip the second stitch do a V stitch in the third stitch V stitch is nothing but double crochet chain one and double crochet you see single crochet and a V stitch since we have double crochet chain one and double crochet we are using we are having three stitches so that is why we are skipping the previous and the next stitch of this V stitch because we have to form we have to um, have a flat um, project right so after this V stitch skip the next stitch and do a single crochet you see single crochet V stitch with skipping the previous and the next stitch of the V stitch and in the fifth stitch do a single crochet the same thing we are going to do throughout the 30 uh, st stitches so skip the next stitch do a V stitch double crochet chain one double crochet skip the next stitch and do a single crochet now again a V stitch double crochet chain one double crochet skip the next stitch and do single crochet so if you see we are actually forming a shell kind of structure with the uneven stitches because we are doing both double crochet as well as single crochet in the same row so in the next row we will be compensating the size okay so continue the pattern skip one single crochet skip one V stitch skip one single crochet skip one V stitch and in the final stitch you do a single crochet because we have started it in the single crochet right okay you see since I have 30 stitches 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 because the multiples of 20 multiples of 4 is 28 28 is 7 right so that's why I'm having the 7 bumps 7 shell kind of structure okay so once this is done what we are going to do is chain 3 this will be our first double crochet chain, turn your work okay now wherever we had the single crochet we are going to do chain one wherever we have the chain one we are going to do single crochet so it will be the reverse of first uh, first row okay so chain chain three because we have a single crochet here so we are compensating it with double crochet okay now do a single crochet in the chain one and in the single crochet do a v stitch double crochet chain one double crochet now in the chain one do a single crochet you see what we are doing in the chain one we are doing single crochet in the single crochet we are doing V stitch okay 
so we are compensating the uh, up and downs of the previous row with the vice versa row of the second row okay so we stitch in the single crochet single crochet in the v stitch v stitch in the single crochet and single crochet in the v stitch then again v stitch in the single crochet i am i i am repeating this seven times because i had multiples of four seven times single crochet in the V stitch V stitch in the single crochet and single crochet in the V stitch and finally we do only one double crochet because we have started with the chain 3 which is the double crochet right so that is how I that is how we are doing okay now again chain one so now what we, what are we going to do so these are the two rounds we are going to continue again and again i'll do one more time so that you know what exactly we are doing okay now wherever we have single crochet we will be doing v stitch wherever we see the v stitch we are going to do the single crochet so that is the one right so now what we are going to do chain 3 that will be our first double crochet and in this single crochet we are going to do a V stitch right like how we have started the first row right and in the sorry since this is a double crochet we are going to do the chain one right and then we are doing a single crochet first because wherever the double crochet is we have to do the single crochet so in the single crochet we have to do the v stitch and in the v stitch we are going to do the single crochet so again the pattern continues v stitch in the single crochet single crochet in the v stitch v stitch in the single crochet single crochet in the V stitch V stitch in the single crochet single crochet in the V stitch let me zoom in a little bit so that it will be easy now V stitch in the single crochet don't be confused with the double crochet as single crochet in the previous row okay because both will be very close but if you do double crochet if you do single crochet in, in the double crochet instead of a chain one then the stitch count will be messed up okay so be careful when you see the single crochet do the v stitch in that exact stitch and uh, single crochet and a v stitch and in the final double crochet which is the chain 3 we do a single crochet because we have started the row with the single crochet right so this is I will do one more round because the second row is the repetition row chain 3 because we have a single crochet at the end so we have to start with the double crochet so whenever we start with a single crochet we end with a single crochet when we start with the double crochet we will end with a double crochet okay 
so chain 3 turn your work skip this double crochet and chain 1 sorry single crochet in the chain 1 and V stitch in the single crochet and single crochet in the V stitch then V stitch in the single crochet and single crochet in the V stitch so I'm doing all the stitches on camera but you can see how fast this is growing because we don't even have to count the stitches or uh, memorize the pattern or anything we have we have to do we just have to uh, remember that wherever we see single crochet we have to do v stitch and wherever we see the v stitch we have to do the single crochet that's the only pattern for this blossom stitch and again it's very simple and very a very beginner stitch okay so if you want to practice the new stitches what you have la learnt in your crochet you can take a big project with just simple pattern so that you learn the pattern you learn the stitches very easily at the same time you have a perfect finishing in your perfect project you see you see the texture how it is um, how it is giving because one side is the wrong side and one side is the right side right side so both sides will be having one wrong side on right side alternatively so if you see here we can see the little blossoms that are happening in here and uh, you see it will be a 3d stitch I'll do one more round on camera see when we start when we start at the stitch this row with the double crochet we have ended with the double crochet so the next round should be starting with single crochet and in the single crochet we will be doing yes V stitch and in the V stitch single crochet you might you would have probably uh, memorized the pattern because I was keep on saying single crochet in the V stitch and V stitch into single crochet so you can just uh, pause the video and continue your own pattern okay I hope this is a, this simple um, blossom stitch pattern um, will be easy for any beginner that is starting your crochet journey um, do it make as many as project you want the best thing I would suggest to start this is with the cotton yarn for any dish cloths because dish cloths are, dish cloths are the best practicing uh, project practicing way to um, learn any new pattern okay so you can you can use 100% cotton yarn and uh, make the stitch or the best uh, way and the other best way is make a scarf for yourself so you will learn a new stitch at the same time you will have a beautiful scarf for yourself okay choose the colors which are complementing each other do some 10 rows in one uh, one color and another 10 rows in the other color so it will be very very great okay so i hope you like this pattern please please subscribe to the channel please share our uh, uh, tutorials with your friends and uh, um, help us grow click the bell icon so that you never miss any video you will get uh, every week updates on our um, tutorials and one main thing is share your work to inspire most of our friends okay share your share your work in uh, in our facebook group ahilu arts or you can um, uh, post it in insta and uh, tag ahilo arts okay so keep us keep supporting us uh, enjoy crocheting and more importantly uh, keep rocking crochet okay so thank you bye subscribe to the channel and hit the hit the bell icon never miss any video bye